in the Islamic calendar, Muharram is the first of 12 months. The 10th day of Muharram is called Ashura. It is the day of intense grief and mourning when Muslims from the Shia community come together in remembrance of Imam Hussein AS and the story of his bravery who died in the battle to save Islam. Now, who is Imam Hussein? Let me tell you. The laws and doctrine of Islam and teachings were revealed to Prophet Muhammad. He was the founder of Islam. His daughter is Fatima Zahra AS who married Imam Ali AS. And they both had four offsprings. Two were sons and two were daughters. The second son was Imam Hussein. He was the grandson of Prophet Muhammad and is a very valuable ruler. Imam means spiritual leader who follows and teaches Islam and leads people in prayers. After the prophethood of Muhammad, when Islam was revealed, Ali became the first Imam. After him, his first son, Hassan, became the second Imam. After his death, Hussein became the third Imam. Now I am telling you the summary of the history. In 680 AD, Imam Hussein was living in Medina amongst a huge Muslim community who had faith and fully supported him. People from Kufa wrote many letters to Hussain. In the letters, people of Kufa requested him to come and teach them about Islam and the right way of living. Hussain's friends pleaded him not to go because the Kufa people were not very strong believers and could easily change their loyalty. However, Hussain told them that as long as he was the Imam, he should fulfill his duty regardless of the people's loyalties. With his firm decision, he left Medina for Kufa with his family, relatives and followers in a caravan. Caliph Yazid, living in Damascus, was a tyrant ruler who oppressed the people. Anyone who disagreed with him was killed immediately. He ordered a large army and bribed the people of Kufa to join his army. Residents of Kufa who had written letters to Hussein asking for help changed their minds and joined Yazid's army. They joined because of their greed for worldly desires. On the first day of month Muharram, in the desert of Karbala, Hussein's troop were blocked by Yazid's army. Yazid gave Imam Hussain two choices. First, Hussain will pledge allegiance to Yazid and let Yazid take power. 
then Hussein will be allowed to go free. Plus, Yazid will give him the wealth. Or, second, Hussein can refuse to give allegiance and be killed in the battle. Hussein was given two options. Imam Hussein knew that Yazid was a spoiled drunkard who did not follow the rules of Islam. If he pledged allegiance, the value of Islam would be lost as Yazid could change the Islamic rules that would lead to more chaos. Hussein refused to give allegiance. He refused in order to save the doctrine of Islam. Yazid's army was upset and ordered Hussein and his followers to move away from the river. Hussain accepted and moved further away. Yazid's army guarded the river and prevented Hussain from drinking the water for three days. Hussain's followers were thirsty and suffering. Hussain's people consisted of women, children, relatives, friends, etc. They were suffering from thirst under the hot sun. On the tenth day of Muharram, called Ashura, Yazid's armies of 30,000 soldiers started war against Hussain's 72 men. These 72 men comprised of Hussain's friends, relatives, cousins, nephews and sons. They all fought bravely without food and water and were killed one by one. When Hussain was the last one, he was ready to go to battle. When his wife came to him with his baby son, Ali Asgar, who was crying due to thirst, she pleaded Hussain to give their baby water as the baby was crying. Hussain raised his baby in front of Yazid's army and said, Remember that it is me you want to fight and not the baby. He is pure innocence. He is very thirsty and so I am requesting you to give him a few drops of water. One devious soldier from Yazid's army shot an arrow and it hit the baby in his neck and he died. Hussain was shocked that instead of giving water, his enemy gave an arrow. He was devastated. After burying the baby, he fought alone against thousands. And his fighting skills were excellent. When it was noon, Hussain stopped the fighting. He stopped the fighting so that he could perform his afternoon prayers. Hussain bent down to pray namaz. That time, his enemy stood behind him and cut his head off. Because of Hussain who sacrificed his life, Islam has prospered and is strong and accurate today. If Hussain had pleaded loyalty to Yazid, Islam would have been in chaos. Hussain did not want that. He sacrificed his life to ensure Islam prospered. In life, you will always come across two choices. Follow the right path without giving in to immoral ways. By following this, life will be difficult. Second, following the wrong path and doing wrongful deeds, life will be full of luxury. What would you choose? Hussein picked the right path and his selfless sacrifice saved the Islam name from corruption. 
every Ashura, all Muslims partake in large peaceful gatherings. where they share stories and cry in remembrance of Imam Hussain and his sufferings. Some beat their chest as a cultural tradition to display their grievance over the sufferings of Hussain. You will see a pot of water at every road. Water is distributed to thirsty individuals. This is a mark of respect to the martyrs of Karbala who died after being thirsty for three days. Till today, Islam has flourished all because of Hussain's sacrifice. Muslims appreciate the bravery and huge patience of Imam Hussain for the sake of Islam. His family, relatives, friends all sacrificed their life for Hussain. In the end, Hussain gave his own life. Does this mean they lost? No, in fact, they had won the war because they ensured that Islam flourished. This was all because of Imam Hussain. May the peace be upon him.